spots. I am the Socialist Party candidate for the U.S. Senate here in Ohio. I'm here this morning in Columbus uh, to file a complaint with the Federal Election Commission in which uh, I'm charging uh, eight Ohio newspapers, a consortium of Ohio newspapers, and the candidates Rob Portman of the Republican Party and Lee Fisher of the Democratic Party uh, with violations of the federal uh, election regulations and laws, and particularly uh, with engaging in illegal campaign contributions. This complaint is based on the fact that uh, these newspapers and these candidates have joined together to organize a series of debates and they have, in which only the Republican and Democratic Party candidates uh, will appear. And they, they established no criteria for holding these debates. They did not contact or consult with the other parties or candidates. And under FEC rules, this is a violation of the law. And so we're seeking to have this uh, rectified. Uh, we believe they're in violation of this law, that uh, the FEC should take action to make them comply with the law. And we're asking them, uh, the parties and the candidates, to in, who are, who've arranged this, that is the, the newspapers and the two candidates who've arranged these debates, to extend an invitation to the uh, other parties and other candidates running for the U.S. Senate. That, that would include myself as the Socialist Party candidate. And uh, so that's why we're here today, and uh, we think this is a very important issue. Uh, it's, it's quite wrong when uh, corporations, uh, including media corporations, enter into collusion with the two major parties and their candidates to create debates which exclude other points of view. This constitutes a kind of old boys network of uh, the media and the candidates and the parties who have uh, run politics uh, in this uh, state, in this country, uh, for a long time. And we know that people in Ohio want to hear from other voices, that people in the United States want to hear other points of view. We've had three polls uh, recently uh, done by uh, Rasmussen, Gallup, and Pew, each of which found that about a third of the American people are sympathetic to socialism. We know the tremendous discontent at this moment that uh, most Americans reject the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Uh, they're looking for other alternatives. Uh, they don't support them. They say, we don't support these Republican or Democratic candidates. We see that many uh, people who are turning towards other candidates, other parties, uh, political independence. And we know that there's this desire for people out there to know all points of view, to hear all points of view, and that's the way it ought to be. And we know also the media knows how to do this. Yesterday in Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Enquirer ran a, uh, a, uh, a section on the Senate candidates in which they included all the Senate candidates and all their points of view. What they do in the print media, they should also do in the broadcast media. And the citizens of Ohio and the people of the United States have a right to know what the candidates think. It's important to have an informed, a well-educated, and well-informed public who can participate in a democratic process. And they can't do that when the corporations and the media join together to keep the, the spectrum so narrow and to keep out the many points of view and the many important ideas that they deserve to hear. hope to have the FEC uh, sort of order that you be allowed to participate in the debates, or is it your hope that the parties will sort of relent on their own? Well, I guess I think it would be best. I would be most pleased if, uh, uh, if uh, Rob Portman and Lee Fisher and the uh, newspapers uh, were, to, were to say, yeah, let's bring these people in. That's the right thing to do. I would be most pleased to see democracy work and to see American democracy work where, uh, where we, uh, you know, we could see people really have a voice. That would be the best decision, I think, to see these people say, yeah, we made a mistake here. We should have included these people. The other, the other thing is, um, I think it would be, um, if that doesn't work, then I think the FEC should issue a, a recommendation and, uh, if possible, an order uh, saying that I should be included in these debates and to go to court and have the court uh, intervene to make that happen if the parties don't accept that. Uh, I think that 
uh, the Cleveland City Club, where one of these debates will be hosted, calls itself the Citadel of Democracy. I think the Citadel of Democracy should say democracy means let all points of view be heard. And I'd like to see this, the Cleveland City Club board come out and say, you know, uh, that's right, that's the right thing to do. But if it doesn't happen, I hope the FEC and, the, and if necessary, the courts will act to make sure that the people of Ohio have a right to hear uh, all points of view in the Senate debate. Traditionally, the argument against including third party or non-major party candidates in uh, debate uh, or forums like this is that they haven't demonstrated enough support to, you know, show they have the ability to win, and that including, you know, uh, essentially voices of people who can't can't win excludes the uh, or or diminishes the opportunity for voters to hear from the, uh, the other candidates. Do you feel like your campaign has developed or, or demonstrated, you know, the kind of support that? Well, I don't think I don't think that the people who are excluding us have any basis to say that we have not demonstrated that. That is, they never established any criteria that says this is the basis on which people participate in the debates. That's the basis for this right. legal charge, their failure to do that. Now, the other thing is, I look at all the polls in the country, including in Ohio, and you see these very high numbers of people who reject the Republicans and the Democrats. So if they're rejecting the Republicans and the Democrats in such high numbers that says they don't like either one of these parties, they don't think these polls that say, are they doing a good job? They say in very high numbers, they're not doing a good job. Well, that means they're looking for other alternatives. So in the general, and as I already mentioned, we have these three polls by very reputable polling groups with quite different kind of uh, perspectives. That is Rasmussen, Pew, and Gallup. And they say that a third of the American people are sympathetic to socialism. And I think that all those people don't live in New York and California. I think there's a lot of people in Ohio who have that. Now, regarding my campaign, uh, since this campaign has been going, we've established campaign organizations in Cleveland, Toledo, Columbus, Cincinnati, Yellow Springs, and other areas in the state. We're right now traveling around the state to college campuses. And we were on the college, we were on the college campuses in the spring, and we're now going back, and we're going to have support groups on all those college campuses. Um, we are, we have raised a modest amount of money. In part, that reflects the fact that this is a uh, grassroots campaign that doesn't have corporate sponsorship. We don't want corporate sponsorship. We want sponsorship from, uh, from small contributors who are ordinary uh, citizens in Ohio or other places who want to support uh, a socialist uh, candidate. Uh, but we, we think that this is, uh, I personally think that this campaign uh, has a following here in Ohio that will know the base, will know how much following it has on election. Hey Mark, Jesse Ventura, Jesse Ventura, the back here, back in the morning. They're my attorney, Mark Brown. He, um, he, had, less, he had less than 10 percent when he, when he was first allowed in the debates. And of course, he ended up winning the, the election with 37%. It was a plurality. So he went from 10 to 37 percent. Yeah, he, prove, he proves that small numbers can become big numbers if you don't put the road in Ohio and continuing to uh, fight for our rights here and to make sure that uh, I and other candidates, this is not only important for this election, this is important for future elections in Ohio. Thanks a lot.